Good evening, Markande sir is also joined. Yes, good evening. How are you, sir? I've been uh, two, three minutes. Can we start? Uh, Ganesh, we can make the uh, YouTube link active now, I suppose. Yes, sir. Uh, live is only. Okay, thank you. Chairman's joins are like a Babish. The doctor Vikas can answer the phone, then I get a link uh, re recent Kelly. Oh. Direct link or click her. Hey, Dr. Ajish Shah, good evening. What kind of good evening? Hello, good evening, Vikas. Good evening, ma'am. Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening, uh, Dr. Rajesh Rao, sir. Let's just check with him. This clinic. हाँ मैडम एक दो मिनट आते ज्वाइन होता है तेज़ जस्ट मारे नो प्रॉब्लम ओ ठीक है स्टार्टिंग इस लैपटॉप अन्य लीना प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ मैडम अपने बट कर मैडम आए थे आई एम ऑलरेडी यस माय मैडम लगभग मैसेज टाकला है हाँ सुमित इधर ओ सुमित लगभग टाक मैडम Dr. Paliwal sir is joined. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Dr. Rao sir is also joined. Good evening, Rao sir. Very good evening. Am I audible? Yes. Your video on? Yeah, Dr. Paliwal. Yeah, I'm going to go. Good evening, Dr. Tushar. Shall we start, madam? Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, ask Ganesh whether he can. Yeah, Ganesh has already started, ma'am, recording. Yeah. So, with the permission from uh, Dr. Avinash Bosley and our esteemed uh, office bearers from the SANS, can we start, sir? Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. First of all, uh, on behalf of Society of Anesthesiologists, Pimpri Sainswad, I welcome all the esteemed uh, office bearers from SAMS as well as from SAPC. Uh, it's our really, uh, we are happy to organize this online webinar on a very interesting topic of TVRTCI by none other than Dr. Tushar Choksi. He is the really master in this subject and delivered many talks about the same. Uh, with this short note, I request our president, Madam Dr. Shobha Vatka. Sir, Madam, please uh, give this president a note. Yeah. Okay, dear friends, greetings from President SAPC. Myself, Dr. Shobha Ashok Watkar, inviting you all for this April meeting in the form of online webinar. It's my proud privilege to interact with you on this occasion of this webinar. This meeting is focused on the TVAR TCI, that is a target control infusion, which is rich in scientific content topic, which is close to our heart and every practicing anesthesiologist should be well versed with it. Anesthesia system should be very reliable safe and meet all quality expectations. Complexity of the surgery major, most of the time demand the major general anesthesia. But we could manage it in other way. And for that, we have with us Dr. Tushar Choksi, a don in TVR TCI, who will guide us how to manage it with TVR TCI. 
what can be sustained by research training and daily application in the workplace so far sapc has got good support from eminent speakers in variety of subjects and excellent response from our members making it a huge success a guidance from my senior colleague helped me to arrange nice webinars so far i thank them from the bottom of my heart my compliment to dr tushar choksi sir who readily agreed our invitation within no time to speak on the tva tci dr choksi is practicing tva tci for last 35 years he is a pioneering it in india with his constant hunt for the newer agents and hunger for the safety in anesthesia practice he deserves a big applause and appreciation from our team sapc i request all of you to motivate the budding anesthesiologists to be the member of the organization sapc and take the advantage of this type of fruitful lectures organized by us and have a productive role proactive role to support each other and work for the growth of our branch we are fortunate to have dr rajesh rao honorary secretary from borioli and dr vikas kane treasurer from pune sams to chair the session my colleague dr shubhangi kothari will introduce them i welcome dr kothari and dr nina paulos to moderate the further proceeding of this webinar thank you thank you madam so uh, today's uh, moderator dr leena shibu she has done da dnb from indore and she is associate professor at mymar medical college taigao practicing since 20 years she has special interest in simulation anesthesia and airway uh, in charge of skill lab at mymar she has five publications in her credit and <laughs> one is selected for pokhran library also and uh, now i request kothari madam to please our senior most anesthetist and past president to introduce our chairperson dr vikas karne and dr rajesh rao ganesh can you please share their introduction slide please yes uh, thank you bhavesh uh, for today's session there are two dignitaries as a chairperson it's really we are fortunate to have them the first one is dr vikas karne who has done mbbs md and apart from that he has also done the mba currently he is a director of anesthesia and operation theater services at the specialty hospital uh, sayadri hospital he had been the treasurer and a uh, uh, treasurer uh, treasurer and uh, work treasurer and sports committee of the aizen act 24 he was uh, the chairman of the workshop committee of aizen act 23 he was he is a executive member of the society of anesthesia of pune and currently he is holding the most precious uh, uh, post of uh, our sams uh, treasurer post uh, for 23 25 his area of interest is neuroanesthesia thoracic anesthesia then uh, artificial intelligence in the healthcare robotics anesthesia and of course today's topic tiva and tci he is he is a recipient of the awards of the prestigious award cops best paper award in madurai conference as a con 2014 at the same time he is he, he had been awarded as the best paper award in the private practitioners forum uh, at uh, solapur conference of uh, as a con maharashtra chapter in 2019 so friends we are having the first chairman as a dr vikas karne so another one is the dr rajesh rao who is currently the secretary of uh, isa borioli he is a private practitioner who is doing the private practice since last 30 years in the northern suburb of mumbai he has graduated from the bmc uh, gmc and the post graduation from the science hospital his special area of interest is the laparoscopic uh, surgeries onco surgeries then regional anesthesia and he is expert in segmental anesthesia today's hot topic and today's topic of tiva and tci he has been uh, called as a speaker in various conferences at cme at city level state level and national level and he is a recipient of the Pre president appreciation award at sams as a con 2023 so friends now these two chair person will moderate today's our session along with the dr lena thank you Uh, Dr. Lina, uh, unmute yourself. Uh, good yeah, evening, please. one and all. Uh, 
uh, as Association of Anesthesiologists guidelines says that all anesthetists must learn the, to deliver how tiva because once in lifetime they will get a chance where inhalation agents cannot be used. Now, whether it is manually controlled tiva or machine controlled TCI, the man behind the machine works. And who else can enlighten us with this topic? So it is my privilege to introduce Tiva Man of India, Dr. Tushar Choksi. He's an alumni of prestigious Baroda Medical College, and he is into three decades of practice in anesthesia. Other than the Tiva, he has mastery extends to techniques of opioid free anesthesia, NORA, with a focus on urology, laparoscopy, ENT, pediatric anesthesia showcasing his pursuit of excellence. He's also an editorial group member of prestigious Indian Journal of Anesthesia and is actively engaged with various professional organizations. Dr. Chokshi's innovative spirit is evident and has groundbreaking in initiatives such as smartphone and tele-anesthesia practice and the introduction of infographics in anesthesia, revolutionizing the nationwide and globally. Affectionately, he's known as Tiva Man and also the infographics man. He also believes in dissemination of knowledge and he has conducted over 300 webinars, delivered more than 250 conference lectures. And he has contributed in peer, various peer reviewed journals. And in the domain of anesthesia, his legacy shines with unparalleled excellence and unwavering dedication. Over to you, Dr. Tushar Chaksi. Thank you, madam, from bottom of my heart. And I'm very thankful to all the Pinkery Chinchwad Society of Anesthesia. And uh, it is my privilege to give the lecture in this August audience in a webinar. And believe me, this is my the same topic I am giving the lecture more than 50th time. So I will share my screen. Can you, see, can you able to see my screen? Yes, sir, it is seen. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I'll forward to second slide. Can you see my second slide? Yes, it is seen, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, it is seen. Okay. Now, today's my topic is TCI TIVA A to Z practical approach and update. Believe me, this whole lecture is only practical. I'm not going to talk about the theoretical part and what I have, I have learned since last 25 years. That's what I'm going to talk with you. And it was my dream to start a association of TCI Tiva Society in India. This is the fourth society we started just four months back, three months back in January in Coimbatore. So it is very near to my heart, TCI Tiva. And believe me, I'm not doing any practice without Tiva TCI. I would like to ask the questions, few questions as the audience polls. How many of you are giving Tiva or TCI Tiva? What is your definition of Tiva and TCI? What is your experience of TIVA? Will you give TIVA and TCI in your practice? At the end of the lecture, you will confirm that I had given TIVA in my lifetime whenever I am going to give uh, anesthesia. And now I will switch over to target control infusion, TCI TIVA in future time, whenever I get the opportunity. So my lecture roadmap will be history, definition, types of anesthesia, types of TIVA, indication, advanced. Advantage, disadvantage, TIVA drugs, drug combination, which practically we are using, methods of giving TIVA, syringe infusion pump, target control infusion, my own infusion, closed loop system, TIVA in different groups of the patient, surgical procedure, TIVA checklist, monitors, TIVA updates and TIVA apps, future of TIVA, take home message and what is your opinion. Almost I have covered everything. So this lecture will be in the preliminary part, then TIVA part, then TCI part and then future part. Because I'm not, see, if you want to learn the target control infusion, it's a different story and different uh, lecture for 45 minutes. So I will consult all this material in one lecture. If you go to the history of the TIVA, then TIVA is older than the inhalation anesthesia. Our anesthesia started in just 117 year, eight years before, but TIVA is more older than this. In six, six, uh, 1656, IV injection opium was given in the dog. And since then, in 1665, 1872, 1905, 1921, and 1936 was the 
change year means the recar need different year of the tiva like ketamine was invented propofol was invented remifentanil dexmedetomidine remimizolam and ciprofol if you go to the history of inhalation agent then last inhalation agent sevoflurane was introduced in 1990 but i think before that but if you go to the history of the invention of the tiva drugs then it is a continuous process every year you are getting new tiva drugs so if go through the iv anesthesia history timeline then in 2020 also we have got a ramimizolam we have got a, even after propofol we are going to get a ciprofol what is the definition of tiva it's a very simple definition you can understand from the words only total intravenous anesthesia it is a technique of general anesthesia which uses combination of drugs given exclusively by the intravenous route without the use of the inhalation agent even in no nitrous oxide but oxygen compressed air or helium are the exception now people are asking the questions tiva is only given at the time of the induction but not it like that tiva is given at the induction time maintenance time now tci is that if you go to the machine of tci then it gives the bolus as well as the infusion so tiva tiva is becoming popular as far as the corona period came then tiva has boomed up like anything in all part of the world why because gas gives rise is always side effect on no, that period no, no. so we have switched over no, 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 no. so what are the types of tiva types of tiva are with endotracheal tubes without endotracheal tubes with supraglottic airway without supraglottic airway with nasal airway with oral airway without this all airway gadgets now why i put this slide specifically because since last 10 years i was asking by more than 1000 anesthetists in the world that yes sir tiva is only when we are giving intravenous agent or drugs anesthetic anesthetic drugs but when we are putting a something like intubation uh, endotracheal tube or supraglottic airway then it becomes a inhalation anesthesia why because sometimes uh, we are not giving inhalation anesthesia so there for this specific purpose i have put because all these uh, drugs which are coming as a intravenous ag agents what are the tiva indications simple indications almost in all surgical procedures you name the surgical or procedures from neonate to geriatric patient we can give the total intravenous anesthesia any airway procedures patient with the risk of post operative nausea vomiting even any day care surgery nowadays day care surgery is because of the day care surgery and because of tci tiva the even laparoscopic surgery any ent surgery urology surgery has given a very good good signals even short procedure like ct mri cardiac catheterization patient choice patient himself ask that okay, sir pelu sir you don't give me the smell of that uh, with the mask neurosurgery and neuromonitoring this is the one branch that came with the very good way in the tci tiva in remote location suppose you want to give anesthesia in some of the remote places like where the trolley is not available oxygen is not available and you have to in emergency you have to go like in the middle of the sea middle of the space middle of the sky like that you just imagine the situation at that time also this uh, tiva comes in the place now i will give you the one one of the history how the ketofol was invented ketofol was invented in 1919 during the iran iraq and usa war where the 900 wounded soldier was given tiva anesthesia by one of the only one anesthetist barry fredberg who has invented the this ketofol combination of ketofol that is ketamine and propofol one gem one uh, uh, concentration and the patient were either for the amputation or suturing or from, from that on day onwards tiva has started a uh, means uh, up, upgrading them into the tci what are the tiva advantages except for a slight prick in the arm the patient is unaware of having an anesthetic no mask over the face we are not requiring the face mask no sudden concentration of the gas or vapor no risk of malignant hyperthermia very low incidence of post operative delirium less chances of emergence phenomena and a best part is there is no smell of volatile agent at all in the room see i will remind you one when i was working in 1990 with my pride practice at that time 
you don't know uh, isofluorine vaporizer and this type of the closed circuits were not available so at the end of the uh, day i was totally tired because of the flooded ether flooded with the trilene flooded with the halothane in my body i mean literally i was uh, having a tiredness so all these things has gone away because of my tiva practice better preservation of the cerebral auto regulation it reduces the stress response both patients surgeons and even anesthetists patient wakes up as it from natural sleep this is my humble request that once you start at your tiva or tci then you will come to know that how the patient is coming from the anesthesia it is called as a decrement time so the machine will itself says that the patient will come out with the 10 minutes on 15 second or 2 minutes in the 15 second even tiva gives the less punv less operating room pollution in war situation ambulance transfer or unexpected condition tiva is coming in the picture you just name the uh, means i had an experience of giving uh, tiva in one of the house also in one of the religious ceremony i had to give in 3 years old child one of for circumcision nss in 1992 said so that time i had given ketamine and uh, that uh, diazepam so this is the way tiva works now tiva is favorable to all the body systems like central nervous system cardiovascular uh, 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 this oncology surgery gastrointestinal system and renal system you name the system and it is favorable but coin has two sides some of the disadvantage before going to tiva we have to take the vein so pain on injection injection is irreversible once you give the injections in the tiva tiva injections in the vein it cannot be reversed disposable may be costly but nowadays now disposables are not that much costly incidence of awareness is if not given properly so prerequisite of the given for tiva the depth anesthesia monitor is mandatory now undetected error in delivery devices not having another apparatus to carry on the tiva nowadays tiva can be given manually we can give by infusion by uh, in syringe infusion pump manual infusion or tci or autoclave possibility of not finding the vein if you are not able to find the vein then tiva cannot be started shallow respiration you have to master in the tiva practice once you have gone through the one workshop or some uh, uh, experienced uh, anesthesiologist then you will learn that how to do give the tiva difficulty in knowing the blood concentration nowadays these are the not the major disadvantages so now if you have come across these disadvantages advantages and these indications then if you go to all the tiva drugs then our tiva completes the nsa circle, circle with hypnosis sympatholysis amnesia hemodynamic stability immobility and neuromuscular drug. each drug is specifically by tiva agent is given to each drug is given by this nsa circle completes which are that tiva drugs major epileptic drugs what you are using like benzodiazepine narcotics propofol ketamine etomidate dexmedetomidine muscle relaxant and other adjuvants are easily available in almost all, all operation theater and outside ot and all, all these drugs can be given to any subset of the population from pediatric to geriatric patient in easily titrable dose see believe me on this lecture once i will tell about the basic part of the tiva with all the drugs then i will switch over to tci once i will directly switch over to tci those who are non well well worked i think most of the people are not doing the tci practice so i will go one by one about these drugs and in last 178 years we have invented more than 65 drugs and in that some of the drugs that we are not using in tiva and in use in use 45 drugs are there so see the luxury of giving the tiva drugs in our practice hello yeah now what is the ideal tiva drug see ideal tiva drug still it was not invented but some of the drugs come in the category of 90% of the ideal tiva drug it is rapid onset of action rapid and predictable recovery potent and lipid soluble it is also water soluble to minimize the toxicity it is stable in any solution we can mix in any solution any pints 
it is chemi chem chemically compatible with all the drugs other drugs means any other anesthetic agent and most important it can be mixed with our iv anesthetic agent then solution without any complication no perivascular sloughing if extra vasitated not absorbable by plastics does not promote bacterial growth it should be devoid of any adverse reaction side effect and it should be low cost so i will put dexmedetomidine and propofol and ramimizolam ramifentanil and again ciprofol is in this category of the ideal tiva drug now what is tiva drug toolbox in our ot all benzodiazepine benzodiazepine dexmedetomidine propofol ketamine opioids beta blocker all muscle relaxation magnesium sulfate dexamethasone clonidine lidocaine diclofenac and paracetamol these all drugs are in my operation theater i am working with six or seven hospitals where i put all these drugs in one box now iv anesthetic drugs so i will go one by one very uh, uh, for one one minute about this uh, all the iv anesthetic propofol propofol is the prime drug in all tiva and tci practice and with the combination see it can be used in the any tiva dose or it can be used in the tci in tci in all over the world propofol is the main drugs used in target control and uh, infusion so initially tiva dose is 2 to 2.5 mg per kg and tci dose is 1 mg per kg body weight in tiva mixture it is 1 mg and in infusion 6 mg per kg per hour for maintenance when we are giving without tci and in tci propofol ramifentanil is ruling the world and is highly effective and these are the right said these are the doses for anesthesia death like sedation light pain laryngeal mass put putting laryngeal mass for moderate pain to deep anesthesia these are the doses and all people are well versed on all over india with my infographics so, so i will not show detail in those all infographics this is propofol infographics now another drug in my armamentarium is very favorite drug of mine is ketamine ketamine is i called is a brahmastra of the anesthesiologists in tiva see it is a most popular drug across the globe since last 50 years it is still going to be for there in another 500 years it is nmda antagonist key role in main drug in tiva it is a best analgesic amnesic and opioid sparing it is my most favorite i keep these drugs on my always in my theater dose less than 0.5 mg reduces the post operative analgesic needs and especially seen in opioid tolerant patients so i'll tell you two days case only i had got a 88 years of lady for the carpal tunnel syndrome I had not given her any brickel block or uh, this axillary block. I just gave 10 mg ketamine and 2 cc propofol. She was uh, having good sedation, and then I gave only this uh, uh, wrist block, and all the operations were finished within half an hour. So this is the beauty of ketamine. Patient does not not remember the where you give the blocks or anything. It is also anti-hyperalgesic, like anti-tolerance effect. it is only intravenous anesthetic with hypnotic analgesic and amnesic property produce rapid hypnosis it can be mixed with the all type of the anesthetics and narcotics agent in single scene believe me i have mixed it this ketamine in almost all the agent ketamine with midazolam ketamine with propofol ketamine with dax and it is a one of the established drug in the tiva mixture this is ketamine infographics dax medetomidine one of the another uh, since last 15 years it is one of my favorite drugs in uh, my armamentarium and it is 7 to 10 times more potent than clonidine i have omitted using the clonidine now most ideal anesthetic agent as far as i am telling you in this lecture with all the properties of anesthesia you name the property analgesia sedatives hypnotics then uh, anesthesia everything it has got a opiate sparing effect and in pediatric tiva without tci dexcat combination is becoming very popular and in this webinar dr naresh paliwal is there and he, he will uh, agree with me that how the dexcat is comfortable see my my tiva pediatric practice is change after dexcat patient sedated but arousable alert and respond without comfort uncomfortable dose range is 0.5 to 1 microgram per kilogram whether you give alone or with ketamine in pediatric tiva dex with ketamine combination is mostly preferred for endoscopic or radiological procedure in my gastroenterology for ketamine endoscopy or ketamine colonoscopy with uh, dexmedetomidine is preferred this is dexmedetomidine uh, infographics now 
since last 15 years i am using this but still in india 40% of the nsats are not using dexmed degree so i have prepared one i have uh, developed one uh, uh, this poem so what dexmed degree says hey buddies i am dexmed degree my pet name is dex i am your complete friend to play with you in all games iv im oral spinal and nasal it can be given in all the routes but my favorite game is intravenous with all stages sedation hypnosis analgesia and anesthesia i love to play with the small babies to old age players but during playing with me careful i am very dedicated and fall down with the weak players i can also play in the industry game like icu patient continuously 48 hours not more than 48 hours i am always available to play with you and allowed me to play with others let us play and enjoy with me don't think like me though i am a new player and you must start using dexmedicine in your practice you will change in your tiva etomidate these drugs i am not using uh, frequently once in a while like in one month once one only once in a one month so it is a excellent cardio stable drug used mainly in the hemodynamic compromised patient as a tiva induction agent i am not using as a infusion agent for sedation tiva icu in geriatric patient dose is from 1.1 to 0.2 so etomidate uh, this uh, infographics opioids now fentanyl is outdated remifentanil is came in the market so many states are not having the license of the remifentanil even in gujarat also we are not getting remifentanil so it is available now from them this company it is available as a 1 mg 2 mg in india and outside india it is 5 mg initial dose is 1 microgram per kilogram and in tiva maintenance but remember remifentanil is a very ultra short acting very ultra short acting narcotics and it is a main drug in the tci practice it's a different topic to tell you about the remifentanil in tci this is remi uh, fentanyl uh, infographics this is remifentanil infographics now another drug was developed by the japan peon company that is ramimizolam it's a combination of benzodiazepine and narcotics synthetic narcotics so it is a very short acting it is also ultra short acting and once came in the market you just just forget about the propofol see once one in 1936 one change came in the anesthesia practice that is because of pentothal second change came in the 1990 and third change came in the 2020 by remimizolam i am not giving you the name of the remifentanil but remimizolam and another change will come after ciprofol china is developing ciprofol which will change the even another practice of the level practice of anesthesia in tiva now some of the adjuvant drugs i am using it is midazolam but nowadays midazolam is not used by so many anesthetists midazolam infographics magnesium sulfate see it is a, i call it is a intravenous oxygen just 10 years back i had start accidentally this agent in my practice and i was amazed that i had gone through the literature and i found one of the article the versatile trend of the nsat is in all the para operative period so it's a analgesic adjuvant available as a 2 ml ampule with 500 mg and total 1 g so what is that effect anti hypertensive bronchodilator anti arrhythmic analgesic anti seizure anti seizuring anesthetic adjuvant antacid and mild sedative and you name the effect there are 32 clinical effect of mgso4 during anesthesia so that is why i called it is a intravenous oxygen now another this is infographics now another drug is dexamethasone see my uh, one of my request to all the people those who are working in the private practice and they are not well versed with the tci in they want to start that tiva practice then you must use dexamethasone magnesium sulfate and another drug is xylocar that is iv xylocane so dexamethasone is widely used as a tiva agent adjuvant it is anti inflammatory it say provide <laughs> sense of well being and single dose dexamethasone dexamethasone 8 mg can be given to irrespective of sex age disease or age even i am giving to when the patient is diabetic but hbcg around less than 7 so i call it is a universal friend for the anesthesiologist it acts as a antimetic anti nauseatic anti inflammatory analgesic anti seizure in increased quality of recovery no effect on sepsis and sugar in single dose so it's a infographics 
Now another drug is best companion for the uh, anesthesiologist is a lidocaine. Analgesic, anti-hyperalgesic, anti-inflammatory, reduce opioid analgesic consumption, anti-arrhythmic, improve, improvement in the patient's outcome, decrease the aerosol and droplet during the extubation. I started using these drugs both even during intubation and during extubation, at least one milligram per kilogram body weight. So it is called as a magic drug. See, this drug will uh, restore all the, your systems like heart, lung, everything in the normal way. Some of the agents like paracetamol and diclofenac sodium are act as an anti-inflammatory agent and uh, this analgesic agent. But the rule is always give both the drugs before surgical incision to inhibit postaglandin receptors. I will why I am writing this red line signals in these uh, slides because all the anesthetists, they are giving diclofenac sodium at the end of the surgery but not this practice should be abandoned. It is given before the surgical incision. Once you give this, uh, uh, once you, once the surgical incision is there and then you give, then it is not going to act because it is a prostaglandin inhibitors. So all the receptors are released and they will not work. So this is diclofenac and uh, paracetamol infographic. Now, this is one of the most in my armamentarium is Hasmolol. I called this drug is now commonly used, very commonly used by the anesthesiologist because it is a, a, a favorable to pulmonary disease patient. It is a very short acting. It's a very good, uh, gives, uh, uh, means a very, uh, we can use in the pediatric patient. It is called, uh, it is having a central analgesia. And in my ENT practice, in my laparoscopic practice, this has changed in my TCA TUA practice because when you give immediately patient's blood pressure, then tachycardia comes to normal level, then I put in the pint. And believe me, these drugs I keep in my table in 10 ml of syringe, always filled. This is Asmolol, very rapid, and, uh, rapid onset action, very short duration. There is no harm I have seen. TIVA drug combination. So if you have learned this much of drugs, TIVA indication, everything. Now people are asking in TIVA that uh, which drug in combination we can use. Now what to understand before for mixing any drugs for anesthesia. See, we have learned in our anesthesia residency. At least I have learned in my 1990 when I finished my MD. Anesthesia works on the hypnosis, analgesia and relaxation. These three principles. And the concept of anesthesia triangle came. And any, any, any medication enters in this anesthesia triangle prism, then it gives the four type of mechanism. That is pharmaceutical, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and thermodynamics. Or by combo, when you enter two drugs with a different route, then different uh, uh, like uh, analgesia or hypnotic uh, way, then it acts in the another way. So large number of the incoming drugs leads to increased complexity and monitor that. So the rule is not mix more than three drugs at a time. Now, which drugs to be combined with which drug? Columbian, Columbian Journal of Anesthesia in 2017, 2017, they have given a very good chart okay, which drugs will be combined with the which drugs. Like I'll give the example. Propofol, you never mix with any muscle relaxant. Like that way, this chart is gives you all the anesthetic drugs on the left side and all this chart. Red is is not compatible, yellow is not conclusive, and green is compatible. Now, before you start your TIVA practice, for simplification, I have developed one TIVA kingdom. We are the anesthetists, is a king or queen with our military. Our ketamine and dex are a supreme commander. Our fentanyl, ramifentanyl is a commander. And other people, other drugs are our soldiers, like magic soldier, universal soldier, reserve soldier. So here king will decide, we will decide okay, in which patient, which drugs will go and which, which type of the combination will be given. So here king will decide their military in the battle with the TIVA to whom to send alone or in combination, whether if this is a short procedure like DNC or abscess, then you can combine with the narcotics or you can combine with the ketamine or you can give alone with the propofol. So Prince is the most common warrior and goes with the every battle of the TCA, TIVA and TIVA. So you remember in TIVA practice, propofol is the prime drug to use. In TIVA maintenance also, Prince with the one or two supreme commander. Nowadays, TCA, TIVA, they are going with the propofol with supreme commander like Remifentanil. 
and in pediatric battle means in absence or presence of prince if we are not using propofol then two supreme commander go to the with the small battles suppose if you are using ketofol then you start you can use dexmedetomidine with keto, uh, ketamine also so what are the combination like kpd kpd is a ketamine propofol dexmedetomidine ketofol ketodex or dexcate fentanyl propofol combination remifentanyl propofol combination and in south india some of the people are using pdf mdf or ketomid so this three most common combination we are using without tci is ketofol ketodex or ketomid but remember the rule of the one ketofol one gem to one ketodex one gem to one and ketomid 0.1 to one these are the dose you can use any combination in your practice there is no low that okay, this combination is better than this combination this combination is better than if you are uh, if you are comfortable with any combination you can use it but i started my combination that is ketamine propofol dexmedetomidine in 2012 that is 10 to 12 years back with kpdt first time in the india i have started and i have completed more than 5000 to 10000 patients i used in one gym one gym one combination dose i take 12 ml syringe i take 100 microgram of the dexmedetomidine 2 ml means 100 milligram of the ketamine and 10 ml of the uh, uh, this 100 milligram of the propofol so 12 ml syringe can uh, accommodate 13 ml and out of that i will decide that okay, which patient suppose if i am going for colonoscopy then i give it 2.3 to 0 0.3 0.3 0 0.3 dose or if i am going for the induction then 0 0.5 0 0.5 0 0.5 and suppose if my going my patients are going for urs or for my uh, uh, sedative dose of the mastoidectomy then i give 111 it's a excellent analgesia and it de decreases the dose of individual stable hemodynamics decrease the airway complication i have used this combination uh, in uh, this lock uh, this uh, corona period very frequently i am using as a bolus maintenance in short cases more less than 30 minutes Propof fentanyl nowadays this you uh, this combination we are not using but remember the propofol dose is reduction by 50 percent rpt what this is ramifentanyl propofol it can be mixed with polypropylene syringe see nowadays there are the two schools of the thoughts we cannot combine with the propofol and uh, this propofol propofol and ramifentanyl in the same syringe or in the same line but now there are so many paper came that from japan from russia from the west western worlds that we can combine propofol with remifentanil and we can give this uh, combination but in tci we can use in the tci sets with the different route, different different uh, way different uh, tci pumps it is most widely tiva combination in tci in the world now how to give the tiva either with a single drug or with a combination of drug with single serine technique with mixture of drug or with only one drug continuous IV infusion with syringe infusion pump or with target control infusion or lastly with automated drug delivery through the closed loop system you do not have to worry about this last is uh, now developing by the artificial intelligence single syringe tiva when i started my practice i started with the single syringe tiva with the thiopentol when there is a uh, abscess uh, ind is there i give only uh, pentothal or nowadays i give single uh, one syringe combination with the drug like ketofol and single serine tiva so it is called as a ss tiva simple syringe or pump can be used short procedure can be done and it can be practiced in the low dependent set or outside the operating room in the nora situation manually control infusion by with a iv set manual dosing of the anesthetic agent during tiva with fixed infusion rate or with uh, syringe or with iv drips you have to have this uh, some of the tiva apps in your smartphone to calculate the dose of the infusion rate i will come across with the la some of the slides about the tiva apps now people started before starting tci before invention of the tci they have started propofol manual infusion that is crystal regimen the it is also called as a 10 8 6 model the target was 3 mic Program per ml. So, first pharmacon kinetic model to deliver TCI TIVA before advent of TCI pump. But to start this manual TCI TIVA model, patient must be premedicated with the either benzodiazepine like fentanyl or midazolam or another narcotics. 
So loading dose is as a bolus, we can give 1 milligram per kilogram for induction, then 10 milligram per kilogram per hour for 10 minutes, then 8 milligram per kilogram hour for another 10 minutes. And then where whatever the time is surgery is then you just continue giving 6 milligram per kilogram per hour thereafter. So this once you are well worked with this, uh, this Bristol regimen, then you can switch over yourself to TCI regimen. So this is the way you can give Bristol regimen. Now people are asking that can we mix, can we dilute the propofol in uh, any solution? The answer is yes. This is FDA approved. Can we dilute? Answer is yes, because it is compatible and can be diluted in 5% glucose, 0.9% NACL or RL or DNS. But the how to dilute? Take 100 ml. See, this I have written before the TCI when came in the market just 5 to 10 years back. How I was doing my infusion of propofol? Take 100 ml of 0.9% of NACL, NACL infusion. Remove 20 ml of solution from the infusion. Add 20 ml 1% propofol in 80 ml of NACL. So this solution infusion contains 2 mg per ml. And the fundamental rule is dilution is minimum concentration should not be more than 2 mg per ml. So one part of propofol and four, four part of the dilution. And if you give as an infusion maintenance 6 mg per kilogram per hour, then in 65 kg weight of patient, this solution will complete within 30 minutes. And suppose if you are uh, giving for 10 hours or even for the 5 hours, you can prepare another pint and you can continue with the propofol. This side of the intra total intravenous sets are available in the market. Now we will come to the another set of the my talk is target control infusion. I will have a few slides, but just give you the glimpses of the TCI when you are not, not well worth. Some of the audience people are not uh, started TCI or they never heard about the TCI. So it's a target control infusion and infusion to achieve preset drug concentration in the either plasma or effector site. When TCI was invented, at that time, we were using plasma concentration. Nowadays, we are having a effect side concentration. And what are the components? See, the infusion pumps looks like, TCI pump looks like a simple infusion pump. But it is a microprocessor pump with artificial intelligence. And it has got an interface like another pump, details and software with the pharmacokinetics and pharmacokinetic models. And communication between control unit and pump hardware. So once you are well worked with this TCI pump, you will never forget how to start. But before that, you have to uh, learn something about TCI TIVA. How it works? See, simple TCI model is three compartment pharmaceutical module. In between, you can see this is a central command. When drug is injected, it goes in the central compartment. That is in the plasma. It is in the blood and the liver. Then it goes into the peripheral compartment that is called a C2 and C3. These are also called a V1, V2, V3. This central compartment, they are highly perfused or less perfused. So muscles are highly perfused and fat tissue are less perfused. So there is a distribution from the plasma to the muscles or plasma to the fat tissue. And bilateral, uh, this uh, distribution is occurred. Distribution and redistribution. This K12 means one, depart, one compartment to two compartments. Why I had given this? This slide because you can whenever you have any query about TCI, then you can have this this uh, sort of uh, uh, words in your mind that okay, what is K12, what is K21, what is central compartment, what is uh, peripheral compartment like that. And some of the drugs is eliminated with the uh, uh, elimination by the kidney. So this is called one K10, and directly from the plasma, some of the drugs are going to the brain at the effect side. So this is the how it works. This is a simple component. Now, when the TCA was invented, this was working of the three compartment model syndrome. So nowadays, TCA model, first generation model, second generation model, and now nowadays, third generation model came in the practice. These are the TCA TIVA set. You know, this is a simple we can use with the, uh, we can join with the uh, Vinclone. One is line is for the infusion line, two lines for the two drugs, either with the propofol or remifentanil. There are two anti-siphon valves. Then there is a two CRBs tubing. This one tube and two uh, second tube is are mixing. This is the uh, infusion is going through. If infusion is going through this, drugs are going through this. 
and whenever you stop the propofol then you have a this side clamps so these are the type of the tca tiva sets are available now how how types of the tca tiva models are available specific drug model that is first generation and second generation tca model nowadays third generation tca model are available that is a general purpose model now specific drug model that is for only for the propofol only for the uh, this uh, remifentanil only for the fentanyl or only for the another drugs like that in general purpose model tci pump all the drugs are included in this one pump these are the general purpose model available in the market are Common elevator, BDLR is PKPD, HP, Medicaptan, B Brown. These are commonly available in the Indian market. But I have heard that now this more than 10, 10 companies are selling their pumps in TCA pumps in their market. Now single serine TIVA, double serine TIVA, three serine TIVA is also available. And he is the first person in the world who has started a TCI in 1996 and with the diprefuser. And I called him as a father of modern TCA TIVA practice, John Byard Lane Glenn. So what is the clinical benefit of the TCA? More predictable onset, more predictable offset, short time to recovery. I told you about the decrement time. Pump will itself says that whenever you stop the propofol, that your patient will come out within the particular time. Suppose 3 minutes, 30 seconds, 11 minutes, 5 seconds, like that. Low incidence of TIVA and it saves the nursing time in the recovery, limits the need of antiemetic therapy and allows patient to early return of the work. All my patients during TCA TIVA, my practice, they move themselves with even laparoscopic surgery from the OT table to even the stretcher. Now, patient can give sedation by himself with target control infusion. This is recent development of the TCA. These are the models available. These are the single specific drug model, this TCA, like Mars and Snyder for the uh, this propofol. Padfuser and Kataria for the pediatric propofol TCI, Minto for the remifentanil, Maitre for alfentanil, Gaps for the sufentanil. And this is general purpose model. Nowadays, third generation model came is a Elivel model. Elivel model can be given to remifentanil as well as propofol. And for dexmedetomidin, Hernywood model came. Then for the uh, ketamine, Domino model came. Now, those who are not having a TCI, now TCI average uh, time, average expense is 2 lakhs rupees per pump. So, I have developed my own infusion. Before invent, before using my TCI pump, I was using three styles of my infusion. I also called it as a TCI infusion, Tussar Choxy infusion as a maintenance. KPD infusion, Dexmedetomidin infusion, either propofol. I can use either or any infusion as per my tailoring of the anesthesia for short procedure to long procedure. KPD, I return is ketamine, ketamine, propofol, dexmedetomidin. If dexmedetomidin I'm using, then in 500 ml, I put a uh, 100 microgram of the dexmedetomidin. I use it at a 0.7 to 1 microgram per kilogram per hour. And if propofol infusion, it, just like uh, Bristol regimen, propofol infusion, but without TCI machine. Now, closed loop anesthesia delivery system. It is uh, developed by since recently, since last five years. And one of the Indian NSR is Dr. G.D. Puri is very prominent in this system. Input is the drug delivery system and output is evoc potential. That is a depth anesthesia monitor. How it works? Here is a computer. Here is the output. Output means computer. Or output means uh, monitors. And input is a drug delivery. These are the TCI pump. When you are injecting the drug in the, uh, to anesthetize the drug, uh, anesthetize the patient, then monitor shows the vital signs. And according to vital signs, again, the computer will decide okay, which drug is to be injected in which dose. So this is called a VCS cycle and it, it works with the closed loop, closed loop system. These are type of the closed system models are available. And people in Canada, they have started an eye control RP, like auto robotic TIVA clads, like our, uh, this cruise control car, we are driving a car like cruise control. Now, TIVA can be given in different sets of the patient like pediatric, geriatric, obese. In pediatric, first rule is that as far as, not like that, as far as ever TIVA in neonates. Pediatric TIVA, Cartaria and Perfuser TCI models are available, I told you. And 
propofol ketamine remifentanil and dexmedetin can play important role and again in tiva practice dexket or dex ketodex are uh, very commonly used drugs nowadays in all over the india and out of the india the dose regimen in tiva any drugs for obese children use the total body weight to calculate the dose for the infusion tiva can be given in geriatric patient see there is a so many papers i came across that compared to with inhalation anesthesia tiva is more suitable in geriatric practice the fundamental equation seen this geriatric tiva practice is go low go slow and always follow you start with the low dose always give the low slow infusion or slow induction agent because their brain arm circulation time is two to three times than the normal person most important whenever you give any anesthetic agent avoid hypotension and always use multi para monitoring with oxygen obese patient also tiva is an excellent method recommended dose in the obese patient always lower than the non obese patient and obese patient always secure airway whenever you are not intubating that patient then always put either nasal airway or oral airway multi para monitoring oxygen is must now here one thing i would like to tell you that some of the people in some of the part of the world or india i don't understand okay, why they don't give the muscle relaxation when they are putting a igel or supraglottic airway but i always give suxamethenium see people will in practice prior practice they will agree with me that okay, whenever you are giving propofol or something like that as induction agent and when you in, uh, intubate or something like that you give you put a supraglottic airway without muscle relaxation then it is a uh, patient uh, sometimes bp is increasing patient is having a bronchospasm something like that so i will always recommend that uh, no relaxation technique is not advisable tiva can be given in asa3 patient it is same as the geriatric okay. patient there is no specific protocol multi para monitoring is an oxygen is must but choose the most appropriate tiva drugs whether the patient is elderly or young whether the patient is obese or non obese so my bottom line is surgical procedures can be done under tiva or tca tiva from ot to outside ot from pediatric to geriatric and from any surgical to medical specialty you name the specialty we can give tiva but when you start your tiva practice you must have some checklist all anesthesia drug airway equipment oxygen multi para monitor must before giving tiva ensure no leakage from cannula patients iv cannula is always visible during surgery this i learned uh, frequently in my corona time syringe should be labeled with the drug name date and concentration so medication error should not occur infusion line should be checked every 50 minutes infusion set through which device dealer should be have a linear lock connector at each end bc is used then check placement uh, check the electrode placement before and after surgical draping and at the end of the case ensure all tubing iv cannula which had tiva drugs by any method should be flushed to prevent any inadvertent bolus in the ward especially muscle relaxation and in uh, uh, in nhs they have given one of the acronym like press to start the tube press p r e w s like propofol remifentanil uh, electricity start up and setting this is i like this acronym then i have put this slides in this my webinar now which are the <clears throat> monitors we are using see first of all whenever you are starting your practice as a tiva or inhalation anesthesia or as a resident after coming to prior practice you are the best monitor in your life still i consider myself as a best monitor my finger my eyes my body language and my mind is the best monitor i can make out hypoxia even faster than the uh, even pulse oximetry so anesthesiologist is the best monitor then you can go to the machine multi para monitor bispectral index evoc potential process eeg monitor then another way you can have normal monitoring so many there's entropy so many monitor came in the tiva practice and tci practice so minimum requirement to start tiva or tci is dedicated tiva or tci pump dedicated tiva lines non written valves and anesthesia depth monitor see from tiva to tci these are the prerequisites tiva and tci have become more popular practical and possible due to the two main reasons which i find first advanced knowledge of pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics property of the drug pkpd models such as propofol ketamine dexmedetomidine and newer short acting opiates making them suitable for the intravenous administration see 
if you gone through the miller fourth edition or sixth edition and you see the ketamine how it was written now you come to the 10th or 9th edition and how the ketamine pharmacology is written you will will see the vast difference then in pharmacology and pharmacokinetics so this is a different style secondly new concept in pharmacokinetics model coupled with the advance in the technology of infusion pump which allows the use of the algorithm such as in syringe infusion pump and tci and closed loop system with the nowadays artificial intelligence propofol remifentanil is ruling the world now some of some of the tiva apps i have found this is i tiva do tiva with your smartphone and volumetric pumps then iv calculator infusion dose drugs each drugs can be calculated with this more you just put your patient's height weight age sex then infusion calculator then anesthesia software now this is the only textbook of tiva tci is available in the world i have my uh, i am always distributing this soft copy to all part of the world and all part of the indian anesthesiologists by absolom this is available even in amazon as a uh, physical copy so tiva and tci in fact patient friendly surgeon friendly anesthesiologist friendly economical friendly environmentally friendly productivity friendly and that is how tiva and tci use it will be known in the future see i will tell you the milestones which i have come across since last 25 at least 20 years in my lifetime for starting tiva to tci tiva in last uh, 10 years i was having my dream that i should start 20 years before i should start tiva then i started tiva with tci then i thought that i should have a, we should have a like minded people to start the nssa society that we have fulfilled that society the, our society iota is the fourth society in the world who is the now 100 member uh, uh, 100 member in our iota and we are going to have a first of conference in this august or september in bangalore only with our society now future dex main determinant tci model dic launched in 2022 my dream is vaporizer and syringe pumps and tci pump will be integrated into the nssa workstation tiva will be norm and new normal tci will rule in the nssa technique by 2032 all the way now people came with the all in one tci tiva they have two pumps all in one target control infusion and closed loop anesthesia like swiss jack knife and the people those who are in smartphone they are playing the games they do not use now smartphone even tci pump itself has got a monitor and you can play the games on that monitor only this pump only now see all oh, all the ns studies in the webinar they can agree with me that we are working this type of the theater wires monitors gadgets machines highly equipped the theaters and everything but i am fed up because i am a old one old school of the ns studies started with the simple boil apparatus even without boil apparatus to simple advanced anesthesia workstation so my dream is future, my future of anesthesia workstation is switch on switch off anesthesia machine i will dream that i will have only one button whenever you want your patient to go for the anesthesia then put button on the a slip mode your patient will go in the a slip mode when your patient you want to awake then you put on the awake mode and in between you do not go outside the theater you have a coffee vending machine also in your workstation means uh, this anesthesia workstation you can take the coffee also from now new drugs came like ramimizolam sugamdex and uh, ciprofol and now heptiva and ducitrol is also coming in the market within 5 years so take home message is total intravenous anesthesia is viable and safe alternative to the inhalation anesthesia again i am specifying that i am not against the inhalation anesthesia but my work is now limited to tci tiva and i am promoting only tci in the world now tci pumps and advanced monitor make administration of tiva easy and precise manual control infusion using regular syringe pump can be used to deliver pre calculated dose those who are not using tci pumps the newer intravenous hypnotics and analgesics agent with favorable pharmacokinetics property have made tiva more popular in the wide era of varying clinical scenario and anesthetic so step in your comfort zone with tiva tci not outside the comfort zone with safe anesthesia safe surgery safe patient safe environment and safe yourself consider nowadays you are 
not driving like a fiat or ambassador you are driving like a very advanced car so you have advanced see bottom line my golden statement after this webinar is to kill the patient in under anesthesia is a dream now and this statement was approved by this british columbian anesthesia society i had heard from this anesthesiologist that now to kill the patient under anesthesia is a dream by the any anesthetist so some of the jokes i have collected from the even chat gpt now poem i have developed this poem is very good tca tua anesthesia oh how how it's grand target control infusion the future is future at hand with precise drug delivery tailored at each case anesthesiologists can set the perfect pace advantages abound for both patients and doc like faster wake up times and less post op shock reduce risk of awareness with no need of gas and better hemodynamic a win win for all class no longer must we worry about over sedation or the complication that come with the inhalation with tca tiva we can control the game and ensure that each patient gets the best aim so here's to tci the way of the future with better outcomes and fewer complication to future let's embrace this technology and give it a chance for benefit of the patient and to enhance your own stance so don't think don't think any one test am agun ki bari jisko now start don't think that start practice under tca tiva and my ultimate slide is that which step you reach today i won't use tiva tci i can use and ultimately i will use tci you go further in these steps in the highest mode we have started a facebook group of iota association of tci tiva anesthesiologists please i will request all the anesthetists to join this facebook group even we have started a association of tci tiva anesthesiologists society also you become a member of this society and take the privilege of all the workshop webinar information and these are the different societies available in the world euro siva world siva siva.ac.uk these are the established society of intravenous anesthesia so i love you tiva tci because it is a precision safety future and care thank you thank you dr tushar for an excellent webinar I'm sure all anesthetists present in this webinar will be the king of their Tiva kingdom and have different drugs in their armamentarium with the Brahmastra. Thank you. Uh, I'll request chairpersons to give in their expert opinion or comments. Sushant sir, good evening. It was an excellent as always. uh very informative uh you have covered everything starting from the concept of tiva you are also tca going... tiva lover i am very very, very yes very sir happy. yes sir yeah yeah in neuro anesthesia <laughs> you are I... well worked yes sir and uh, as you rightly said that is one of the uh, one of the best indication for our tiva tci and uh, in uh, our hospital i am using both tiva and tci yes, so uh, Uh, I think we can call today's lecture as again a TCI to show to see such expert inputs for Tiva TCI, and uh, he has covered oh. everything, sir, starting from the concept to uh, the drugs, which drugs we can mix and which drugs we should not be mixing, and what are the different techniques of delivery, uh, whether we can do it manually because, as we know, most of our colleagues are working in uh, uh, limited resource uh, operation theaters, so. Uh, they should not have this feeling that they can't practice uh, tiva tci because they don't have advanced form so you have covered that point also and taking it all along to the uh, what is tci and you have explained the three compartment model it is always a pleasure to listening to you every time uh, i must be listening to your lecture maybe fifth or sixth time uh, today and every time there is something new to learn uh i think the experience that you carry uh, over last 30 years has been helping all of us so uh, firstly congratulations to you for taking this initiative uh, continuously and persistently you know uh, creating uh, sensitization and awareness among all anesthesiologists working across india and outside also and uh, the best thing is you took it uh, to the next level where you explained about the closed loop uh, delivery system that is kind of a uh, anesthesia robot we can say and the dream that you express is i think dream of every one of us where we'll have the tvtc pump incorporated in anesthesia system 
So multi-para monitors with uh, depth of anesthesia monitor incorporated into it along with the uh, top monitor incorporated into it and then TYTCI pump and the non-TYTCI pumps for the delivery of muscle relaxants and uh, other additives like magnesium sulfate or dexmedetomidine. So that is going to be the future. As you rightly said, sir, we all must explore this uh, technique of anesthesia because this is going to be uh, one of the more best uh, modality in future. Even in terms of the environment, there are pros and cons of uh, inhalation anesthesia and this fits well into that uh, uh, question also. So uh, thank you again. And I think we will be uh, looking at the questions because I'm sure our audience will have a lot of questions to ask. Sir, and we'd like to join that as well. Thank Just you. For sir. interfering on things, I want to share one point that since last three years, we are organizing a PCI TIVA masterclass and workshops in different parts of the India. And we are having a team of the PCI TIVA anesthesiologists. Anybody wants to take that uh, uh, chance in your territory, then they can call us. We will free to come. We will take the initiative. And second thing, since last two years, I am seeing that since last two years, more than 200 TCI pumps were sold in all over India. That was the biggest, since last five years, we have never sold five pumps even TCI here. But since last two years, all part of the India, they have started taking the TCI pump. So that was my really, uh, I'm very, very happy to see that yeah, people are asking the TCI pump to in, in their hospitals from Hyderabad to Bangalore to Mumbai to Vadodara. In Vadodara also, we buy 10 pumps. So that is the way we are doing. Yeah. This is uh, Dr. Rao speaking. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You are yes, audible. Yeah. yeah. This was an excellent presentation. Let me thank uh, the SAPC office bearers for uh, inviting me to chair this session and to hear Rushar Bhai. He has always been uh, an excellent speaker. Uh, you called him the Tiva man. I called him the infographics man. I have uh, stored all his infographics with me. They are very, very, very um, educative and uh, Thank you, nice to remember. Yeah. And I would like to tell him that uh, it's almost five years, 218. He had come to Boroli Society of Anesthesia to deliver a lecture. Yes. Uh, yes we had a session of opioid and ketamine. And at that time, you had spoken on Tiva, the in thing to learn. Magnesium also, magnesium sulfate. Also. Yeah, yeah, yes. Magnesium sulfate also. So it's been a long way, and uh, I have been the, uh, become a member of your AOTA. Uh, IOTA. Yeah, IOTA. Few things. I had actually a lot of questions to ask, but you answered uh, most of them. Uh, yeah. One thing. One thing is uh, uh, yeah, when you come out with this, when yeah, they yeah, come out with just, yeah. just to just to just to disclose my own way. I'm a very practical anesthesiologist and not the theoretical anesthesiologist. Whatever I have learned, whatever I know that I will going to give the answer practical way. That's all. Same here, sir. Same here. Uh, so few questions. One is uh, uh, when you come out with uh, an association like this, do you feel that you should have some guidelines for... Um, yes, yes, sir. Rajesh yeah. Bhai. Hey, yeah. See, since last two months, we are doing some Zoom. Zoom meeting with all our executive members and everything, all the members of the society. And uh, we have decided to come up with our own guidelines of the TCI TIVA with all the ways. Means okay, what is to be requirement, minimum requirement, which type of the pumps we can have, which type of the patients we can take. Means uh, this like uh, uh, the SIVA guidelines are also there and the NAP4 or NAP5 reports are also with us. But uh, it will take minimum one year to come across that because it's a very trial and error. And guidelines are not like that. Within two months or three months, we can come out. So it will take at least one year to develop. But we are we have started that uh, uh, process in our from my society. First thing is that we have thought only for guidelines first, then other things. See, and considering the environmental or the economic factors, more I would say that I remember when I was studying in science, um, uh, there was a thesis done on. Uh, the effect of inhalation agents on uh, pregnant. Uh, so a lot of pregnant anesthetists are there who, there are two things. One is radiation and one is inhalation anesthesia. 
So for them also, it would be very uh, an excellent uh, way of conducting anesthesia without using. For myself, I've stopped using nitrous for ages now. Yeah, yeah. So um, many anesthesia I, have stopped using. Yeah, yeah. And most of the countries have banned desflurane. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have been using. We all have been using Tiva in some or the other way since the beginning of our practice. Say for even from even small Rajesh, I tell you. Even Rajesh, I'll tell you. One of my TCI Tiva friend from Bangalore group. Four five anesthetists are there. In, you know all the names of the group. They have started a uh, means uh, calculating the cost effectiveness of the TCI drugs with drugs with the TCI machines, and they came up with a very good consensus state line that okay, Tiva TCI is even uh, not costlier than the inhalation agent. For one hour of surgery, the cost is this much. It is even sixty percent less than the inhalation agent. We have to use so many agents like this in propofol and ramifentanil. That's all. No doubt, ramifentanil is still uh, in India. It is not available. Only one company is producing, and it is very costly. But uh, Just, most we are using only propofol and little bit. Yes, yes, sir. I'll put it in another way. Just now, I got a call from a hospital. Most of these hospitals in peripheral Mumbai, they have got these vaporizers from X Y Z companies in view of. Uh, You know, silver fluorine or iso fluorine they buy. Yeah. You know, something like an exchange barter system. Yes. So now, when you are not using that much of silver fluorine, these companies are insisting on taking back the vaporizer. Yes. And the company is ruling that if you have a vaporizer, then minimum ten bottles you must use in your practice for within yes. within one yes. month. Yes. This yes. Compulsion. This compulsion is not should be done with the anesthesia patient, anesthesiologist. So maybe that will also help us in uh, carrying forward this Kiva. Yeah. Another thing is, I would like to ask you is uh, when you are giving this Kiva, whether you consider the total body mask or uh, the target plasma. Uh, this thing. No, no. Uh, I started Kiva practice at that time. I was. For example, in bariatric patients. i am not doing bariatric uh, surgery uh, bariatric anesthesia but for bariatric patient i i usually give it tiva dose as a total body weight okay yeah and when tci tiva comes in under then there is a uh, algorithm like uh, height weight sex and uh, that we have to put and machine itself will calculate yeah, that, that that's a different that's another ah, beautiful for thing for tiva purpose suppose if i got a 100 mg 100 kg of the patient for uh, suppose lap coli Then hundred kg weight patient, I usually induce with one point five milligram of propofol. So I should give at least for one fifty, hundred and fifty milligram of propofol. Not like that hundred milligram. I will give only hundred hundred uh, milligram propofol. And I have seen in my private practice also. If you give less dose of the even scolin or something like that, then also patient is becoming light. So see, the thing is that the thing is that. The thing is that in my private practice, I am never using any narcotics. I am never using any mida uh, means benzodiazepine. I am never using any any night uh, this uh, inhalation agent. So that is why I have to give more dose of the anesthesia agents rather than this other things. And before that, that somebody has asked about uh, how just uh, to give the answer of one of the questions. I will interfere between you. Okay, people have asked uh, when to give magnesium sulfate in your practice. So. whenever you give my i will i will say in 2 3 minutes how i am doing my private practice with the tiva forget about our tci tiva suppose lap coli patient is there then my patient is uh, given antibiotics in the ward they they will be started infusion line whenever they comes in the theater they should carry by the arm uh, this uh, stretcher only they will put on the theater Then on the OT table, I start with the pre-oxygenation. Pre I have prepared first syringe that is called a DML syringe. That is a dexmedit, a dexona, magnesium sulfate, and xylocal. That is dexona is eight milligram. Then uh, magnesium sulfate is for the adult patient AR one or two. That is hundred uh, one gram and one milligram per kilogram lidocaine. That uh, around seven to eight ml. And during pre-oxygenation of Three minutes. I give very slowly for three to four minutes. This solution. So this is my pre medications. Before that, glycoparate and ondansetron and everything is given by my sister OT staff. Then I'll start my the induction agent. Then that's the way we are. So all these three drugs 
I give before my induction agent at least dexona, magnesium sulfate, and and my another way of the one pint is going about the paracetamol that is 100 ml with one gram with included it includes with the diclofenac sodium either 100 milligram or 150 milligram. So my post-operative analgesia will be covered, and at the end of the surgery, either I give infiltration block or another block. So my patients are very nicely like ERAS protocol. Patients are very nice. And suppose if I'm doing TCI TIVA practice, then it's a different story. Final two questions. One is, uh, would you always um, advise to use neuromonitoring like uh, BIS monitor or CONOX no, in no, all no, your TIVA no, patients? No, no, no. Nowadays, those who have started, those who are going to start TIVA practice, at least they should know the pharmacology of all the agents. Either they should combine with the another, see, combination of the drugs. Like propofol is only anesthetic agent. There is no analgesia. So you must combine with either with the ketamine or dexmedetomidine or nowadays ramifentanil. So it comes by experience. But whenever you are going to use a TCA TIVA, then TCA TIVA society always recommending that you should must use Depth, depth anesthesia monitoring system like uh, BIS monitor or entropy or whatever the available is there. We are fortunate to have a BIS monitor since long in, when I started my TIVA practice. But uh, some of the society, they don't consider that ke BIS will be helpful to TIVA monitoring or not. Because some, some people, suppo suppose in my, some of my friends, those who are working in Israel or Mexico, they are well worth with the 50, 50 figure of the bees. Some people are very comfortable with even 40 to 50. So there is no conclusion like a bees is an ideal monitor for the depth analysis monitor or something like that. It's like a subjective phenomena. You must go with the, some of the simple uh, another vital signs and everything. It comes by experience. I agree with you. I totally agree. Finally, I just a word of caution when uh, uh, see, uh, with all these multiple uh, medication, polypharmacy, there is a remote chance of uh, medication errors. So that is, uh, why, that, is why, that is why my second lecture, I am always insisting that under APSF, NSSA Patient Safety Foundation, we have started in India under the banner of Amdil Pharma and we started a medication error uh, lectures all over India and uh, I will recommend the labeling of the drug. I, I will again I will tell you my example. I am the person even I am not uh, taking confidence of myself. Suppose I have filled the syringe if I move turn around and if I have some doubt about the okay, what injection I have filled I will throw away and I will fill all the injections anesthetic agent from myself only and first I will label it then I will fill the syringe. So my another lecture is for medication of the error in anesthesia practice is a different but I will tell you that in private practice no chance once you are under court or under complication or under uh, safety and I had a one complication in 90, 2004 that before giving propofol I started giving atraquarium and uh, believe me pre-medication ke badle mein mein atraquarium de diya but though I came to know immediately, I started immediately giving to propofol. So that was the first, first and last mistakes. So I, I always recommend it. Label it, fill it yourself, and then you confirm with your, yourself with, uh, if suppose your uh, another NSSA assistant, another NSSA doctor have filled it, then you confirm with him, then you give. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Rajesh. And can I talk good evening? Good evening, Maya, madam. Good evening, Maya. Good evening, good evening Tushar Bhai, Rajesh Bhai, yeah, Vikas. Yeah, yeah, we are I'm really so good happy evening, to madam. have you on SAPC platform. Really, yeah. we are really grateful to you. It was really an excellent presentation. Yeah, one of the and, uh, <laughs> Yes, yes, absolutely. And we would like to have your one more presentation that is AI and chat GPT, maybe in a couple of months. So, no, thank you madam, so before much. That, before that, I'll tell you. Under huh. the APSF banner, you invite me for giving medication error because it is yes, the absolutely. Need of the, it is the need of the hour by anesthetist. I'll tell yeah. you, 
there are so many nsds doing these mistakes in private in india out of 1 lakh nsds 80% of the nsds are working yeah. in the private practice and out of that i'll tell you 95% of the anesthesiologists are not labeling the drugs so that is the mistake and i want to clarify all these things Excellent. i am I'm, I'm, I'm booking you i am booking you as for one session on behalf of iis boru yeah definitely sir i have just taken to my vadodara society just now sir there was a meeting in crown plaza pune ha patient safety that we had a meeting uh, last yeah 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 by mnl only yeah yeah mnl mnl is doing uh, sir i just wanted to know ki what is the cost of tci pump and uh, uh, like uh, there are few like like two types uh, of pumps madam, and uh, see, pump nowadays, there are two types of pumps are available i told you one of the specific drug model and one is general purpose model now people are buying only general purpose model third generation pump and usually these pumps comes around once 1 lakh 75000 to 2.25000 uh, 2 lakh 25000 rupees but if you are uh, having a demo pump then they will give you 2 3 months for this period in baroda we asked for the one of the company they had given 2 3 months so before they at buying the pump you any nsd is i am giving you open invitation you just ask me i will provide you demo pump from the company you use it and if you are well worth with the tci tiva then you buy it for your uh, hospital or for yourself so that is the way we will because i will not sell that jump directly over the buying the tci pump absolutely you just, and you just read something about tci tiva yeah basically i will i will uh, i will give it to one of the this textbook of the epsilon to all people mm. of the sapc yes group and you just go through the, that book basic principle of the tci it's a wonderful okay. thing just forget okay. about it's a dream i'll told you the dream is to kill the patient is a dream it will say that uh, uh, wonderful recovery once you start then you will mm. never go to the inhalation agent is there any learning curve or uh, some period is required learning curve, learning curve is only 5 to 10 days once okay. you see hey, okay. this pump this pump is very much likely it is very identical to the our normal infusion pump syringe infusion okay. pump you have yeah. to feed, you have to feed the algorithm like height sex age weight then mm. machine itself calculate the doses and everything and before that this will give the cow level then it will be a, like a uh, user friendly you add go to height weight sex you choose the drug you choose the concentration 1 mg 2 mg you concentration of the effective concentration plasma concentration like that but before that for one or two hours you just read it that part okay we are planning to have uh, maybe in couple of months some uh, one day cme so we can have a workshop on it uh, yeah yeah and... we can we can we can that is okay. open invitation from iota that any cities of the india they will invite us then we are going to priyanka <laughs> it's a one day conference a uh, work hook kapde va suklele hai na yaun somebody uh, ani gaur ja somebody <laughs> I Mark think with the, to mute their I phone. I think with the, yeah. I think with the rapid influx of robotics in orthopedics and surgery, it is high yeah, time yeah. our branch also gets something like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a see TCI pump is a artificial intelligence pumps only. That's all. Absolutely. See now I'll tell you the difference between this uh, uh, artificial intelligence with TCI and artificial intelligence closed loop system. In closed loop system. i told you this is a vicious cycle is going on if your monitoring is shows hyper uh, there is tachycardia or hypotension or something like that the drug is injected like propofol is doing under uh, propofol is radio, propofol is causing hypotension then propofol will build this stop to induce uh, giving in the uh, means uh, injecting in the body so according to the vital signs the drugs will be injected according do the computers in between one is monitor one is drug so it goes in the vicious cycle like icu mein kya hote hai they will put mm-hmm. like 120 80 pe bp rak diya suppose if your bp is going 140 then drug will be immediately injected by artificial intelligence then the yeah. again the blood pressure come down to 120 it's like a cruise control of the car that's all so it's a imagination your imagination is going beyond your uh, 
वे ऑफ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस तुषार भाई कैन आई आस्क वन क्वेश्चन yeah in all yes, all madam, your uh, all, uh, all your uh, presentation you said about the muscle relaxant used as a t in a tiva so how to yeah, use yeah. muscle madam use muscle it? relaxant is a different game see tiva see i told you in before my starting of slides people are asking that muscle relaxant does not come under tiva practice it is not like muscle relaxants are also intravenous agent so first thing is that whenever you do tiva practice tiva practice can be done with intubation with intubation without intubation that's all and with tci also tci also see this agents and maintenance and infusions are going with the induction agent or narcotic but you have to give the muscle relaxation for the intubation or putting the igel or whatever the way so muscle relaxation is already are there in the tci tiva or tiva practice okay this was one point which i wanted to say because lot of people have got a misconception Yeah, that is what I doesn't mean tiva. No, you no, know, that is the chart also. Type no, no. of anesthesia they will write G A tiva sedation S A regional to so no, tiva. Is, uh. so that is why that is why you go to other three societies of the world. Tiva can be used with the see the say what is TCI? TCI machine gives the bolus dose and the maintenance as well as maintenance dose. So how yeah. TCI use? TCI is used as a throughout the TCI or tiva period. So that is the way we are using it. Eh? this concept i Absolutely. want to clear out from this concept i want to clear out from the all the minds of the nsr is that's why we are there to deliver the lectures and webinars and everything absolutely sir i would like to just add to what you said uh, that uh, tiva or tci is a method of inducing and maintaining the anesthesia yes it yes. has yes the airway have. maintenance is completely different patient can be building spontaneously or we may use supravertic devices or we may intubate the patient we use tiva tci for even thoracic procedures where we are using double lumen tubes or sometimes i use uh, bronchial blockers also so we can't say that it is not tiva or tci yes yes so then because you must be using, it, because you must be using your spine patient without muscle relaxation also tci tiva yes sir absolutely so we don't way. use muscle relaxation nowadays also. i'll tell you remifentanil this remifental tci or a propofol remifentanil in infusion in tci All over the world, eighty percent of the anesthesiologists <laughs> are not using muscle relaxation in neuro practice. Something like that, because remifentanil it covers the muscle relaxation, analgesia, everything. Very ultra short acting. It is hydrolyzed by the muscles only. Once you stop the infusion of the muscle, this uh, remifentanil, it will be out of the body, and patient will wake up like that. Doctor Tushar, I have a question. Yeah. I think Remy Fentanyl is not available in Pimpri Jhinswad city, or maybe. No, no, madam. Actually, the thing is, that I'll I'll tell you the right story about this. What you have to do is, some of the city and some of the hospital, they have to go for the DD2 license. You have to ask about the DD2 license in your hospital authority or yourself. If you have a fentanyl license, then you ask for the additional another license from the government. and you will okay. get the quota of the remifentanil from the company only so many okay. mumbai hospitals have got it but in gujarat what happens gujarat government is not uh, giving green signals to so in gujarat it is not available in rajasthan it is not available in madhya pradesh it is not available maharashtra it is available so you must have remifentanil in your practice now okay okay excuse yes. me can i add up something maya can i say something ha ha vaishali vaishali here uh dr okay. tushar it was nice talk you know i mean sir this is my favorite topic tci oh nice. and uh, yeah i have been using tci for the from uh, since 2021 oh good so yeah so i just want to add up tci is not uh, it's it's a tiva but it's an advanced version tiva advanced is total, version of the tiva total intravenous the... anesthesia and it's tci is not tiva it's a target control so you enter height weight body weight everything and patient six and then the microprocessor will calculate exact amount of drug that patient needs for induction and hmm. maintenance and then it will give and uh, that is target control and other thing uh, what uh, uh, somebody said i think uh, muscle relaxation so what we do in uk like first intubating dose we give and after that for couple of hours or even 3 to 4 hours you don't need any drug Uh, muscle relaxation sorry yeah, it's only patient runs 
Peshaya, Peshaya runs on TCI, TCI. TCI. Not only okay. uh, TIVA, it's a target control TCI, TIVA. Yes, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And uh, yeah. remifentanil is not a drug. People are saying in India, they it can be given as IV, I am giving as TIVA. It is not a drug to be given as TIVA. It is target controlled only yes. because when you yes, adjust sir. everything, the dose of remi is calculated as nanogram per ml. Okay. And for uh, propofol, it is microgram. Yes. So okay. you can't give uh, nanogram, even if you give uh, like, and the dilution, as you say, it's always 1 in 20 and 2 in 40 of Remy. Yeah, 1 yeah. milligram mm -hmm. in 20 mils and uh, 2 milligrams in 40 mils. So if you give uh, TIVA, it is going to be very high dose. And then most of the patients here, they are doing trials. They are landing up in uh, huge chest wall rigidity or um, bradycardia. Okay. So my, my practice, you. what I do is I always give, start propofol and then Remy, uh, TCI. And that's why the patients don't get uh, chest wall rigidity. You all are practicing in institute. So it makes a difference. We all are private practitioners. So my man, my man, what I'm telling, what she's telling that completely practically, I will give you the understanding explanation. What she tells that whenever you use Remy fentanyl, never give direct dose. Directiva, huh? It has to be under T TCI only. Induction dose or whatever yeah. way. It should be always diluted, long way to only diluted, or either give only with the TCI pump, TCI infusion, yes. right? Second yes. thing, okay, yeah, when yeah. you stop the uh, remifentanil, before that you give any long-acting narcotics because suppose what happens in some of the part of the Mumbai, NSA is started using. See, they were not knowing how to use it. They started using the remifentanil. And they have stopped the remifentanil. Then patient jumped out from the anesthesia. They were having excruciating pain. Okay. They when they start. So what we recommend then before ending the remifentanil infusion, you must give either some of the like uh, ketamine or something like uh, butram or some other another analgesic yeah, or proper proper like analgesic. Proper analgesic mm -hmm. is yeah, to be okay. given with the blocks. Otherwise, the uh, mm -hmm. beauty of the remifentanil will go away. And no, it is then. it is very ultra short acting. So very before stopping acting. infusion, you have to, half an hour before you have to give either morphine or paracoxib, whatever it is. I I don't practice in Mumbai, uh, Doctor Tushar. Uh, Tiva TCI, it's in uh, oh, UK only. I've okay. been using. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then you are well worth with the remifentanil. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's a wonderful Thanks. drug. I love that drug like anything. It's very good. So drug. And patients are so and, stable. Yeah. And yeah. I'll tell you one thing more. In TCA, TIVA, remifentanil and propofol, people are not even, even uh, this, uh, all the plastic procedures, plastic surgery procedure, they are going under office procedure. Like my, one of my anesthetist friend in UK, they are doing transl uh, translucent anesthesia with remi and pro propofol only. That is the beauty yeah, yeah, of yeah. that. I don't know how to No, it's is. everywhere. There is no contraindication for a TCA, TIVA. In any part of the world, unless patient refuses. Yeah, yeah, unless patient refuses. Dr. Tushar, one question from my side. Uh, okay. You said that you use uh, ketamine before the blocks. Do you give TIVA before all regional blocks, especially peripheral nerve blocks? Yeah, yeah. Why not? What What do you give? What do you? What do you use for giving TIVA <laughs> before peripheral nerve blocks? TIVA for peripheral nerve blocks? Yes. Just, uh, Suppose you had I'll, I'll, today I have I have given one uh, in uh, yes yes you mentioned about that case yeah carpal tunnel yeah, syndrome patient even some of the axillary block also or one of the peripheral block I usually give 10 milligram ketamine and uh, something like three to four ml of propofol mix ketofol and very slowly giving and when patient I talk with the patient continuously and I will have ready with my syringe. <laughs> needle and PNS and then I start my <laughs> my procedure. Even in caesarean section also, once the baby is out, then I give ketamine and this uh, propofol. And sometimes I remember one case, one anesthetist I had given spinal anesthesia and after delivery of the baby boy, I just give 10 milligram ketamine and 2 cc propofol. At the end of surgery, she was telling me, sir, when did you give the spinal anesthesia to me? Mm. <laughs> this is the beauty of the giving mm. so very low dose. Nowadays, ketamine clinics are available in all over the part of the world. And ketamine is now, it is an antipsychotic drug. 
so even my extubation i will give in tiva practice not tsa practice but in tiva practice at the end of the surgery catacaine drip that is ketamine and xylocaine drip or something like ketamine 10 mg to 20 mg and xylocard 3 to 4 mg 3 to 4 ml i mix it and before extubation i give it and patient recovery is very nice where means uh, all the blocks not all the blocks if the patient are uh, not nervous and they are well were then i don't give like that it is tailor made anesthesia with the time space and situation in Hello? all ha ha madam lot of time is lot, lot of discussion is there madam kriti <laughs> Yeah, uh, Doctor Tushar, I would like to ask you one question. Yes. I'm doctor, uh, you said you are giving paracetamol and diclofenac before starting the surgical incision. Yes, yes, so that is the fundamental the, rule. The, yeah, suppose the surgery is for eight to ten hours, then when it should be given? So Hello. What, uh, can, I, uh, can you repeat your question? Uh, you said that the you uh, advise rather to give paracetamol 100 ml and diclofenac injection before starting the surgical incision. Yes, yes. Uh, to block the prostaglandin receptors. Okay. Yes, yes. Uh, so suppose the surgery is a prolonged one, five yeah. six hours, eight to ten hours. The when it is supposed to be given? Preoperatively. See, diclofenac. Only preoperatively because pre Paracetamol. Do we have to repeat yeah, after eight hours? After eight hours, you can repeat. You can repeat after yeah four hours also. Ah, yeah, after six hour, four hour. See, diclofenac sodium works. For, diclofenac sodium works for eight hours, and paracetamol yeah. works uh, at least for six hours. Yes. Yeah. So you can repeat the dose, but see why I am telling you to give before the surgical incision, because the surgical incision is there, ne? Then it will release the prostaglandin receptors. Then, if you give after that, then there is no blockage of the receptors. Then yeah. there is so yeah, less that's... chances of giving the analgesic effect of this. So that is the why. What and I had seen that, and I had confirmed with the so many patients also. And you even in, I tell you of the bit of this lecture, when are you giving online setron in your practice during anesthesia? Preoperatively, it is given most of the time. No, half an no, hour. no, 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 madam. That is a very wrong method and very wrong. Ondan setron is given at the end of the surgery only and only. It is recommended at the end of surgery you give before reversing the patient. You mean? Yes, sir. How many people are agreed with me? We are not I practicing agree. this thing. So you go and read that ondan setron. Actually, we are practicing. No, it's correct. Yeah, What yeah. you are saying is correct. Yeah. Actually, we are giving the energy. So I am. What sir is saying is right because when we give ondan setron towards the end of the surgery, we get the peak action in the postoperative period. Yeah. Because when patient is anesthetized, we don't need that peak action of antiemetic drug during anesthesia. Yes. Uh, yes. When we are giving general anesthesia, I'm talking about it. So it is better that we give towards the end when the patient is being reversed and postoperatively that reduces the chances of uh, nausea vomiting. It gives and the when we add. That, Yes, and when we add uh, dexamethasone, as Sir uh, has already mentioned, Doctor Choksi, I'm Doctor Shilpa here, H O D Anesthesia, Myanmar Medical College. Okay. Uh, what's your opinion about uh, amisulfide, a new uh, oh, uh, antibiotic a, drug? Oh, it's a good. A replacement of ondan setron. No, no. Actually, in this method also, as means ondan, uh, this amisulfide was also I am the maximum user in all over Gujarat. Amisulfide okay. is the one of the best drugs available in the world. Yes, yes. For the post-operative nausea and vomiting, either you give one dose, or if it is an established pure NV, then you give two dose, two two bulb, right? Ha, so or or it can be used in combination also. No, no, no. Why? 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 No, 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 no. See, hmm. I mean, that is what I am telling you. This message: amisulfide X as a D one, D two, D three, all the receptors. Yes, yes. Dopamine. Yeah. So, yes, so, yes. So, so no need to give anden citron. See for your psychological uh, means the uh, satisfaction. You can combine with the perinom or something like dexona or something like uh, ondan setron like that. But amisulfide is FDA approved for the only agent available in the world for the post-operative nausea vomiting. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, that yes. is the what, and it is available as a saltaren in uh, by one of the company in uh, India. And yes, sir. I am. Uh, we are using. Uh, yeah. uh, we are having one thesis topic. Uh, it's amisulfide alone or amisulfide and ondan setron uh, 
combination in uh, major ear surgeries one of my student uh, we are doing uh, this uh, i am a sulfran and on nesetron miss combination yes sir yes i don't think uh, you can combine these two, two drugs you either no 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 uh, yes sir the studies okay. are there uh, okay. yes sir studies are there no but they recommend that uh, Onden said, "Arbenzo, uh, amisulfide cannot be mixed with any drugs." And second rule is that amisulfide should be given at over a period of two minutes direct IV. So it should not be given by infusion. It should not be mixed with any agent, or it should not be mixed with any anesthetic agent. It is given preoperatively only. And if the patient is having a postoperative nausea and vomiting established, then you give second dose. In 24 hours, you cannot give more than two doses even 24 hours. These are the five six recommendations yeah. mm -hmm. by the FDA. It is once a dose, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Sir. okay. Thank you. Hello. Yes, Narish Bhai. Hello, hi. That was an excellent presentation, Tushar. Uh, actually, hi, I was with Doctor Tushar for last six seven years for TIVA, yeah. but nowadays I am more of segmented now. So left the presentation you on next Dexcat. You are not segmented. My you are the same, but you are in. <laughs> My presentation on Dexcat, I have presented in all uh, two, three national conferences. Yes, and, I learned uh, Dexcat from you only. Yeah, and I am using Dexcat as a sedation for all my short procedures, and it's a very wonderful drug. You don't need any ondansetron, you don't need any midazolam or anything. Just give Dexcat what and that whatever block or local anesthesia right from neonate to Morbid old patients. But what is your dose, Narish Bhai? Just 0.5 mcg per kg dexmet and 1 milligram per kg ketamine okay, mixed okay, together. Okay, okay, okay. And then give it as a bolus over a minute. Yes, yes, good. And but then give it whatever to, give you it. want to give other block or local infiltration. Are you giving to infant two, three also? Cases daily. Are you giving uh, to infant also? Yeah, yeah. Neonate also. Sir, good, good. The only thing in neonates you need to take care is... Uh, non shivering thermogenesis is uh, to be taken care of. You take care of the hypothermia, yeah, which can yeah. occur if you use epidurals along with this Dexcat. Uh, I have used Dexcat in units also. It's a I, have, uh, I have moved from uh, Ketofor to Dexcat. Yeah, yeah only, from from only, only when uh, very problem. painful procedure is there. You won't believe, Naresh Bhai, after you suggested me, then I have switched over to Dexcat in my all the gastro procedure for pediatrics yeah. and you wonderful wonderful i had done at least more Still than that, 40 wonderful my Diana. surgeon is very happy now no, and another thing i would add it I, almost it, it takes just one third or maybe 25 percent of the actual dose required if used individually yeah because yeah. they take care of the side effects of each Absolutely. other yeah. because the only side effect the sex metadomidin has is it does not give any amnesia and uh, ketamine gives that and it takes care of the bradycardia hypotension and everything about uh, dexmit and dexmit takes care of other things hypertension salivation and everything so they are very wonderful drugs and whenever required i use little of propofol yeah. the airway tone and integrity is always maintained you don't need anything else not even oxygen agree sir agree thank you thank you sir for your Wonderful okay, comments. Okay, thank you. Uh, I uh, request now Dr. Lina to, is there any more questions left? or? Uh, I'll take a few questions from the chat yeah. box. I think people have asked for uh, whether Remy Mizolam is available in India and under what brand name? Remy Mizolam is not available in India, but hope so. Remy Fentanyl came in the Western market in 1990 <laughs> and it came in India after 30 years. So Remy Mizolam, we will, uh, we will tell to our companies that it should come within 10 years only. Remy Mizolam. And one of the question was, what would be the cost of roughly uh, TIVA, which is conducted in one hour surgery? One hour <laughs> surgery TIVA, but, but it depends upon how much agent what you are that? using, whether only TIVA or TCA TIVA. But uh, 300 to 400 rupees, that's all. My calculation is 300 to 400 rupees. And one other question was, yes. if... Uh, I have given a cost effectiveness. Yes. One other question was, if the uh, it is for short duration NORA, TIVA, what investigations do you do before that? For NORA, why you need any investigations? 
when the patient is nil by mouth and patient is AR1, you are taking the pre-anesthetic history and which procedure you are going for the NORA. Suppose cardiac catheterization, then patient must have gone for the all the investigation. Suppose colonoscopy, patient have gone for the all the investigation, everything. But for the simple endoscopy, my gastroenterologist is not doing any uh, means a, an investigation before that. Just it's an office procedure. We give only for one or two minutes of anesthesia, and that's all. And we, ha, prima physic principle is that okay, you must give five minutes to your question answer to your patient and take pre anesthetic checkup very seriously. That's all. I, I think the only investigation they are doing nowadays is triple H. Pre anesthesia checkup. Triple H, triple H. HIV, Another question was uh, in 1 is 2, 1 is 2, 1, KPD, TVAR, uh, do we require to secure the airway? Uh, it depends upon the patient. Sometimes, uh, see, all patients, after going for deep anesthesia, I always put nasal airway first. I have omitted putting oral airway first of thing. Whether patient is for URS, I always give put SGD, means supraglottic airway. Suppose I am in the ENT practice and I am in the urology practice. So my ENT practice, I put all the patients. Sometimes before five years, I was doing a KPD, so, uh, uh, means a TY induction only with KPD for URS. Suppose I am not, I was not intubating, I was not putting SJD. But since last five years, I now put all the means uh, patients under supraglottic airway, even for the one dose of the scolene or one dose of the C set requiem. That. All. So there is no question that it depends upon the patient how much time you are going to anesthetize. But if you think that nasal airway is the secure, safest secure of your airway. Another question was whether TIVA can be used for lap surgeries. Laparoscopic no, surgeries. Yeah, all the surgeries. I am doing yeah. under TIVA only. See, I am <laughs> not doing any surgery under any LS and anesthesia. I told you yeah. from bottom to top, from OT to outside OT, from pediatric to geriatric and any surgical, you can do. Madam told from UK also, okay, practically all the procedures we can do under TIVA. It's yes. not, it's only a procedure, it's a one type of NSS attack. It's an NSS technique only. You are just uh, using another agent only. It is not like, a, you are not using Seofuren, you are using Propofol more, Propofol and Bramifentanase, mm -hmm. that's all. See, that is why I told you, okay, NSS requires muscle relaxation, Anesthesia and analgesia. Whether for anesthesia you are using seofluorine or propofol, that is a different story. And does ketamine affect the BIS monitoring? What? Does ketamine affect BIS monitoring? Ketamine in low dose, I have never seen that. But ketamine, I am never giving as an induction dose. So low dose ketamine, either 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 milligram maximum. And in a, in a uh, unintubated patient, I never use BIS monitoring. BIS monitoring I'm using when the surgery is more than one or two hours intubated mm -hmm. patients under TCI only. Nowadays, I don't use even in uh, gastroenterology unit also. It's a very costly, see all this, see, we as an Indian anesthetist is very economical. We should be practical in our practice. When you use 1800 rupees of the electrodes, then your surgeon will never call you again for that. Beast monitoring. These electrodes are not reusable. We, no doubt I am reusing sometimes for three, four times, but uh, this cost 1300 to 1800 rupees. So, for we are taking only 3000 to 4000 rupees for one case. And if you are using for NSS drugs and all these electrodes and everything, so practically we have to see that how to use this monitoring in which patient. And another question was, can we combine dexmethadomidine, ketamine, and fentanyl in a syringe for TIVA? No, no. Fentanyl I'm not using, but uh, we can. We I can, think we can I'm use. Doing. We can. I think we, we can. can. We can. We can. I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. We can. Can I ask you, you uh, mean oh, you are putting yeah, on a whole level intuition? My, yeah. my thing is that how I learned my TIVA and how I, I learned TIVA. No, no. Yeah. Uh, See, we are anesthetists. See, remember my words. We are anesthetists. Remember my all the anesthetists, those who are hearing. Remember my words. 
my 60 60 years of life with 30 years of my career what i have learned we are anesthetists we are in the between the life and death if the dose is given more then patient will die if we are giving less dose we can save the patient so we are the people who can save the life of the patient not as a induction as a anesthetist right so we should not afraid of giving anything <clears throat> suppose if you have a doubt to mix with two drugs like right? people are mixing i have seen practically all the drugs mixing with all the drugs suppose i have mixed a propofol with uh, this thiopental also and i am saying that okay, whether precipitation is there or not whether it is to be used or not before that i read everything i do this uh, some of the practice because it comes with trials and errors only then we have to establish ourselves okay, which drugs like my been told that i can i am using fentanyl propofol and are fentanyl exponentially in ketamine so that is her own experience so nobody no textbook can against for that because she is very happy with that and she must have used more than 100 cases so that is the way the, the, our nsc is going on it's a practical scenario and uh, there is a point about amisulpride also like as you said it is catered to the all three d1 d2 d3 uh, but there are studies i guess using the combination not mixing them but as a combination and separately to uh, now nah, this uh, no doubt see yes. uh, i think uh, there is a two major indications for the amisulpride when you are giving as a pio nv agent then you give only one agent that is amisulpride when there is a developed pio nv post operative nausea vomiting either okay. patient is completing then you can combine with semisulpride with another drug like dexona exactly oh. exactly my point was that we are not mixing both drugs so we are just 15 minutes prior uh, amisulpride uh, and uh, on this, separately we are giving in uh, same patient Okay. and one group is of amisulpride we are not okay. mixing both drugs sir no no i am not uh, madam you is correctly... telling madam is yes, telling what madam vacation is different madam is yes, telling yes. that to cover the 100% nausea vomiting post operative nausea vomiting can we mix these drugs or can we give separately two drugs pre operatively so it okay. is like that pre operatively you just give one drug and then patient is complaining symptoms mm hmm symptomatically then you yes, can sir. combine with amisulpride means uh, yes. another drug like any group of the drug either ondansetron or any pp2 inhibitor or whatever way you like mm. that is so do you uh, sir uh, sir another question do you recommend some of the private practitioners my friends are using uh, 50 mg ketamine before giving spinal anesthesia i think she is practicing in punjab area no, do no, you no, recommend no. No, no, no. Uh, a 50 mg ketamine never. before no, no, giving no. spinal anesthesia Medi medical spinal anesthesia sir combine with the spinal drug or no no intravenously is giving spinal anesthesia giving spinal uh, anesthesia before, before sp giving spinal anesthesia giving anesthesia. it in pediatric patient maybe no no okay. no madam in every adult patient is no, every adult patient madam, yes yes ma'am madam this yes. is medical legally not accepted because okay. medical legally it is not accepted and if you give ketamine before giving spinal anesthesia and your patient says that okay, why you had given spinal anesthesia in spite of i have told you not to give spinal anesthesia see some patient in our area also they are doing that job they are giving, yes giving little bit dose of the general anesthesia they put correct, patient correct. on the left lateral position or right lateral position. correct so this this practice i will don't recommend forcefully okay. never do that practice against the patient wish you must tell okay. the patient your plan of the anesthesia then you induce ha ah, you can give spinal anesthesia then ketamine to give the slip dose that's all exactly exactly sir But earlier it is... was used as an adjuvant sometime earlier in a spinal ketamine like a neostigmine ketamine they were used in as an adjuvant earlier ketamine was used as an adjunct yeah yeah we can madam yeah. i'll tell you one of the incidents of the ketamine i'll tell you why because i am a medical legal lawyer of the anesthesiologist in the three states rajasthan gujarat and madhya pradesh So I had got a one case like that ketamine. You have told me that ketamine is good. So I said, why, why should avoid? One of the pay, one of the anesthetists in one of the uh, MP in uh, uh, district level, they had given a ketamine 
and then okay. we are given a spinal anesthesia. Before that, they have told that we are not going to give the spinal anesthesia, right? Now that mm -hmm. patient has got a foot drop. Now foot drop is the patient was telling that something is wrong with the anesthesia, right? And anesthetists were knowing, surgeon were knowing, but they were telling lie that we are given only general anesthesia. This is in the court. Of no, the no, no, no. So, sir, what is her explanation? She said that. Patient don't see, want see, to see. go to pay. See, the case was like that. Patient mm -hmm. went under anesthesia. Patient was not asking for the spinal anesthesia. And anesthetist, by forcefully, they give first to ketamine or some general that anesthetic agent. Then, mm -hmm. then give the spinal anesthesia. Then by his bad luck, patient has got foot a foot drop. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, Foot drop is totally because of the spinal anesthesia. We all know that. But anesthetist and surgeon both were denying that okay, this is not because of spinal anesthesia. Now that has gone to the court of the law, CPA. And the CPA has asked me the expert opinion that okay, whether it is to be, it is because of the anesthetist, uh, spinal anesthesia or something else, another reason. I do not have any answer to protect my anesthetist friend. It is purely because of anesthesia. Then patient came that I told you that not to give spinal anesthesia. Then why did you, why did you give me first uh, general anesthesia? Then you started so so beware of that practice. That is why I told these incidents. Hmm. Because her explanation was because do patient don't want the pain of the, the needle prick. Needle prick. So uh, she is explaining like that. I am totally against ketamine before giving spinal anesthesia in adult patient. But her explanation, yeah, my Adil. patients are very happy because they don't want uh, the pain yeah, of you the... Can give sedation. You can give sedation like midazolam or something like that. It's okay. But there is one... Control. Can, I, can I add something, sir? Yes, yes sir. sir. Please, there is only uh, two things. One in pediatric patients. I use Dexcat before giving spinal. And in... Uh, severe PIH patients who are little uncooperative or LSCS, in those patients, I use 10 milligram of ketamine just to calm down the patient because even Sorry. after holding by four attendants, the patient does Madam, not cooperate for, for webinar spinal. Because another webinar, nine o'clock. So just 10 milligram of ketamine works yes, very sir. nicely in such cases. Uh, so, I think all the questions are Bhavish, from the Bhavish, chat box. I will leave Bhavish. this webinar because I had another webinar and... Well, okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Tushar. Thank you. thank you so much, Tushar. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Tushar. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, I take this thank opportunity. You, uh, thank you, yeah. Paliwal, sir. I take this opportunity to, to thank everybody, uh, right from our Choksi, sir, our uh, chairperson, Dr. Vikas Karne, sir, Dr. Rajesh Rao, sir, our moderator, Dr. Lina Shivu, madam. And all, I mean, our office bearers, Patkar Madam, Kothari Madam, Maya Madam, Sumit, and uh, Dr. Seema, and Dr. Deshmukh uh, uh, Madam is also there. Thank you very much, uh, all our uh, friends, colleagues, and office bearers from the SAMS, uh, uh, I think, uh, both are had joined. So, and thank Balaji you. Sir, he was also there. Avinash. Yeah. So, so, thank you very much. And... Uh, I think we conclude this session. Uh, I like, thank you so much and hi to you. <laughs> it's a non-ending discussion, Tiva TCI. If you ask yeah. all, so many Mr. questions. Mr. Madam, thank so you for your input. Because, hello. Yeah. It was nice. Uh, thank you. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Wonderful. Uh -huh. no, it, uh, wonderful. It's always uh, a very uh, you know, engaging discussion when it comes to Tiva TCI. There's a lot to learn, a lot to uh, yes, share. Yes. And it's an ongoing process for all of us. So, yes, as you yes. rightly said, we can discuss another one hour also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a nice, nice brainstorming time. session, I would say. <laughs> so, or maybe session. next time we'll yeah. have a practical approach, like we can keep a workshop and then hands on uh, some tips we will okay. get. And yeah, yeah, direct learn learning will be more useful. Very helpful to everybody. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. I take the, before I leave, I take the opportunity of inviting you to our webinar on Nora. That is on uh, 25th of April. And uh, we all want your support for your marathon Borubli 2024 in August. I Absolutely. keep on sending the flyers. Yes. I really, we really need your support and uh, for that uh, event. Okay, you sir. Are a 
you all bodyvali people are masters in arranging and organizing beautiful uh, cabs and uh, workshops and you are mock mahakon so i think get, our get support will be very minuscule get, get, getting <laughs> getting the sponsors that is their khasiyat <laughs> yeah 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 टाइम मिळत आहे आजकाल डिफिकल्ट झालेलं आहे आता सर आम्हाला माहितीये पीसीएमसी ला आम्हाला किती झगडावं लागतं ते सो ऑलवेज युअर इव्हन मंथली मिटिंग आर स्पॉन्सर्ड बाय सम कंपनी नाही 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 कोठारी मॅडम माया मॅडम यु आर बोथ आर डायनॅमिक असं नाही होऊ शकत झाले का सर तुमचे रजिस्ट्रेशन राजेश भाई झाले झाले दोनशे क्रॉस झाले क्या बात फॅकल्टी समोर येत आहेत चांगलं आहे मुलं चांगली काम करत आहेत गुड टीम वी हॅव they are doing yes. enthusiastically and working really hard absolutely yes maybe you think that there are many hotels because one is mumbai metro and all these people are there and i'm also going to but definitely they uh, wish to come to mumbai as a name in answer so mumbai i will go like to pg con clash hote hai thoda one week before uh, after yeah. pg con ka acha wo kar sakte acha karan युजली की यंगर पीपल आर इन्वॉल्व आणि मग पीजी कॉन असेल तर ते दे विल डायवर्टेड देअर हा एनी वेज ऑल द बेस्ट थँक्यू सो मच थँक्यू थँक्यू एव्हरीवन thank you thank, thank you. you thank you dr vikas and dr rajesh yeah, yeah. thank, thank you so thank much. you for having us paliwal thank sir thank you so much he left i think paliwal sir thank you thank yes, you madam so much for this all of you need to participate i really do thank from bottom of my heart thank you so much thank you madam yeah yeah good night all meeting yes good night thank you